What up, everybody? Welcome back. We joined the draft queue, and then it fired immediately, and it was such a good feeling, because usually I'm one of eight. I like Thopter's Spy Network a lot. Any card that, like, regularly makes not only one ones, but lets you draw cards every turn is uh, really appeals to my sensibilities. Thank you. Royal Scions is decent. Oh, what up, Chorwit? Hamburgers. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Hamburgers is right. All right, I'm going to take the Thopter Spy Network, and we're going to hope this Crystalline Giant comes back. Remember that Remember that guy beat us? My hair's not like this. It's got like a swoop here, like where it's coming up, and you see like the swoop? I don't know what that's all about, but... I ain't having it. What are you going to do? Okay, so... We're trying to we're trying to get some artifacts here with this Thopter Spy Network. I guess we're just taking Angel of Despair. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't really go with Thopter Spy Network, but not much does here. Quench, we could take Quench. Oh boy. Oh boy. Um. I just want to take Angel, to be honest with you. I just think it's a strong card. And I want to play it. I have D-Spark. I like D-Spark a lot. Runescar Demon, also pretty sweet. But do we want another 7 drop? I don't know. I think D-Spark is real strong. And if we're playing this, we're playing this. <sighs> Apex Altasaur, huh? Panharmonicon is interesting. Not only does it trigger the Thopter Spy Network, but it also double triggers our angel i also like mist raven a lot doomed artisan is real sweet i actually kind of like doom artisan a lot hey it's hey it's good good job kerwin good job buddy i believe in you i kind of want to take this doomed artisan I think it's Doomed Artisan. I like Sphere of the Suns, and Sky Scanner is decent, too. I'm going to take the Sphere, because it actually lets us just ramp right into the Thopter Spy Network. I think we're going to be like Esper Artifact Control. <laughs> interesting fact i can write but i can't read you know i don't think that's true cheese it's or graham crackers uh those are so those are both good but they're good at different times like i don't think you can compare savory snacks and sweet snacks because you're going to be in different moods if i had to pick cheese it's um i like i like dual land here I also like Platinum Imperion, but which is good at this time? Uh, probably Cheez-Its. I think I go dual land. Platinum Imperion, I don't really, I don't really care about it. Hmm. Where X is the total current mana cost of non-creature artifacts. So that guy's going to cost like nine mana. We might actually be a Crux of Fate deck. Cheeses are dry. I mean, they're crackers. Do you want them to be moist? Give me a, you guys got any moist crackers? Oh, cheese and some peanut butter. God, please no. Why a swoop boy? How dare you? How 
There you go. Oh, Talisman of Dominance is real nice. So is Blades, Master Splicer, Dismiss, and Patron of the Vein. This just kills a creature. I'm going to take the Talisman, though. Being white, black, and blue is... Oh, the Crystalline Golem did come back? <sighs> yeah, I'm just taking that guy. That guy's great. Especially if they go, like, Hexproof first, and then you can just sit on it for the rest of the game until it gets... Until it inevitably gets all the abilities you want. Plus, both of these artifacts are great for the spy network, so I'm feeling actually pretty good here. I have September by Earth, Wind, and Fire stuck in my head. Farm's Way, Gideon's Lawkeeper, Stave Off. I'm just going to take the Ulcerate because it's removal. Ephemerate? Actually, not bad. It saves one of our guys. It also blinks Angel of Despair. Maybe that Mist Raven comes back, huh? Pretty sure it's too late for that. Did Mike B eat that whole pie? No, I've had like three slices too. Oh my god, the Mist Raven and the Panharmonicon came back? I think we're just going with Mist Raven here because we have Ephemerate, which is better with Mist Raven, and Panharmonicon's only good with Angel so far. Wow, I can't believe both of those cards came back. <laughs> That's pretty wild. Oh dear. Um, two? Yeah, sure, I'll take this guy. Sure. It's a pretty solid eight cards, plus an Ulcerate, a Tribute Mage, and a Crux of Fate, and an Ephemerate. This is actually not terrible. <laughs> oh, Venser. And Ethereal Absolution, which is just ridiculous versus some things. Sunken Ruins is good for us. I think it's got to be Venser, right? Mystery of an Angel of Despair, and we can just actually build around it. What got censored, I wonder? Interesting. I'm just gonna take Venser here. I think Venser is extremely strong in this format. Underground is nice. Skin Render is nice, especially with a Vencer. What is Nadier's Nightblade? Remember a token leaves the battlefield? Okay, it drains. Sure, I'm taking Skin Render here. Oh, Dinrova Horror? Oh yeah, that's a big boy. Man, this deck's looking sweet so far. Oh yeah, we're definitely bringing in Ephemerate right now. We've picked up Skinner Ender and Dinrova Horror. Sure. And Mist Raven. Oh boy. I think it's just Discovery Dispersal here. This pack's not super exciting. Yeah, sure. I think whatever you're writing was not the first line of September.
Cloud Blazer. Oh man, I feel like we drafted this deck already, but I liked it a lot, so I really don't mind drafting it again. Yeah, we're definitely taking the Blazy Boy. Sitting up in my Blazy Boy. Talisman of Black Blue, Black White. We'll, we'll get it. We'll get it. Huh. Also, Cloud Conceal is a blinkable target. Unmake is pretty sweet. I'm just gonna take the Unmake. I think it's very solid removal. Um, Geist Honored Monk was very good for us when we had this deck. Athreos. I think your end step put a coin counter on another creature. Whenever a creature with a coin counter dies or is put in exile return into the battlefield. It's not terrible. Don't tell me what the first line of September is. I don't know if you were an Earth, Wind, and Fire. That'd be amazing if you were. <clears throat> I'm surprised you didn't tell me that. It's I think it's either Atheros or Geist Honored Monk or Watcher of Tomorrow. I think it's either one of the three cards that are in our colors. I think I want to try the Atheros. Because that seems like more fun. Glimmer Point Stag. That's just a blinker on a stick. Oh, the 4-4 four, four Angel Maker, though. Oh yeah, we're gonna take this because if we can blink this with Venser, it's real good. Man, Curry, you've lived a hell of a life, buddy. Come and get your love. Wow, a Thrill Absolution came back? I mean, I'll take it. I think it's really good against certain matchups for sure. Oh, I like Valar's stance. I think it's just a solid removal spell. So things we can blink with Venser right now. Um, Vivid Creek, huh? The Sunken Ruins didn't come back, which is unfortunate. Whatever, I'll take the land. Um, This, 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 this. a good amount of things and we still got another pack left i just ate too much wendy's i don't feel well i regret it send help <laughs> oh boy i mean of all the fast food places you can you can overindulge at i think wendy's is one of the better ones Cloistered youth? Sure, I'll take a cloistered youth. Spicy chicken sandwich, double cheeseburger, chalk frosting. I'm a spicy chicken sandwich fan. I actually like the Asiago Ranch chicken sandwich with no bacon. And then, uh, I think that's pretty much it. I just got the Asiago chicken, Asiago, I don't know what it's called. Second talisman seems good. Might be worth cutting Sphere of the Sun since now we have two talismans of on color -ness. Gary. None of our lands came back there. That's unfortunate. We're looking for, I think we're looking for three drops and five drops here. We do have a Tome Raider and we also have an Icefall Regent. Spark Harvest is also an option. I ordered a collector's box of Strixhaven. Hmm. Hmm. It's been so long since I've ordered or opened my own box of cards. Um, I, mean, I think Icefall Region's good. How are you enjoying the Negahue? I've, I've had a good time, actually.
Uh, I don't, I don't care too much about recovery. Like we only have eight creatures right now, <laughs> so I'd rather have a creature that's actually really good with it. Wow, we can have all three of on color talismans. That's kind of cool. False defeat. What set is this dude in? Just three kingdoms? $27, huh? Hmm, interesting. Interesting. Palladium Mirror is also kind of okay. I like Steel Hellkite, but I think it's I think we're trying to avoid more expensive things. I think we want to have earlier plays. Like Palladium Mirror is actually kind of good here. It works with Thopter Spy Network and it also ramps us to like all of our five and six drops. Oh, another land. Hmm. Yeah, we're just taking the land here. We don't have a ton of fixing yet, so fine with taking that. High Cliff Felidar is a blinkable guy. He does cost seven. Yeah, I could take that. We don't have we have two expensive things. We also have three ramp spells and a pel and a palladium mirror. Yeah, I don't even know what High Cliff Felidar is from. Apparently, it is only available in foil, and it was from Magic Game Night 2019. And it is about $6.90. Ooh, Temple of Silence is juicy. We have 20 through, 22 playable cards right now, which is fine. Gale Powder Mage is actually very good for us. Exiling one of our guys. It's, it's basically like the original Brago. But I think we can take the Temple here. I'd rather just have better land. Like most of our cards are like double blue, double blue, double black, double white, black. Double blue, white, blue, white, blue. Triple black or white. White, black. Skittering Surveyor. Hmm, that's pretty good. So is Exclusion Mage, which we actually don't have a copy of yet. So is Momentary Blink. But we do have Ephemerate, so I'm, I'm okay passing this. If if one of these two come, I think we're taking the Mage, but if one of these two comes back, I think it's pretty good. Actually, I might just want the Surveyor, to be honest. No, I want the tempo from this. Because I really don't want to go like turn two talisman, turn three surveyor, and not have anything that impacts the board. If I'm going like turn three, turn three exclusion mage, at least I'm like setting them back. I like Thopter Arrest. I like Linvala here. Huh. Also, if you can go like Exclusion Mage into Mist Raven into Venser Blink, it's pretty backbreaking. I think I'm just gonna take the Heath here. Again, I want I want my lands to be good. Nothing in this pack's really great. Body double, body double's fine. Eh, Tome Raider. There is a miraculous recovery still, but we have 12 creatures. I think I'm, I'd, I'm more concerned with just getting creatures than bringing the creatures I have back. Um, nothing in here is great. City C? Sure, it's like a tutor. I mean, it is. It's literally a tutor, so. Dance at the Mance. Oh, Vivid Meadow. Not terrible. Hmm. I mean, how many? How many? We have one, two, three. Eh, I'll take the Meadow. What the hell? We have a lot of lands that go and play tapped, though. Oh, Gale Pet Mage came back? Oh, boy. I will make a cut. Man. Momentary Blink? Jeez. I think I like Momentary Blink better than Ephemerate. It is cheap. It, it's, it's one more expensive. But being able to choose when you want to use the second half seems better to me. 
I mean, we can always check. Um, I think we can cut Discovery Dispersal. It's not super exciting. Whereas Gale Powder Mage is just great for our plan. Wow, Linvala came back? That's exciting. Last pick, Linvala? Jeez. Good grief. Oh, what up, Christopher? Do you remember? Alright, hold on, I'm checking something real quick. I was actually talking to a friend of mine the other day that you're like the only person who I'm not related to that I like call me Christopher. Really? Is that true? I kind of like that, man. I'm kind of flattered by that. That's good to know. This is 24 cards. Create a 4-4. Four, four. Two of them kind of created me. Just kind of. The third created one of those two. <laughs> wow, I can see where this is going. <coughs> is Linvala better than Highcliff Felidar? I don't know. I kind of like this deck a lot. It seems really sweet. What or who did I create? Yeah, that's the question, man. Man, Chris, I miss you, buddy. Maybe I'll, well, we'll put a little ball on the sideboard. We might not need the life. And you, the fourth, only says that he slept with my mother during his arguments on the internet. Well, that's why I feel like you're most deserving of the truth. All right, so what are we doing here? Oh my God, Mark, what up, Papa? <laughs> God, that brings back memories. Fuck, I love you, Chris. We have a good time. <laughs> I'm your Sarah. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, hold on. We gotta figure out these mana bases. All your mana bases are belong to us. Okay. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, I like it. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hmm. So far, this is good. I think I'm leaning towards cutting one. One planes, 14, 10, 8. So if we got a planes, it's 9, 9, 8. Which is pretty good. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Plus we have the talismans. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yeah, let's cut one. Add one. Let's do it. <sighs> that looks fun. I hope it is. That was quick. I like it.
Um, yeah, I'll keep this. We can drop that crystalline giant like it's hot. Snap it off. I got to go first. God, where's the justice? Ugh. Boy, we go. This guy into this guy, though, seems pretty juicy. Don't necessarily need to ramp into Palladium Mirror here. Unless we get, like, a six drop, and then in which case I'll be like, okay. Lots of excitement here. It's a tense, fast-paced match that we're having. Our opponent is 1-1, which means they have lost. Which means currently they have lost. Their deck is worse than ours currently. Whereas we're undefeated. Ooh, a mammoth. Mamathio. Give me that hexproof one time. Menacio. Is it because I said Mamathia, you think? You think the, the, the simulation heard something like that and it was like, we understand. We hear what you're saying. Come on, lifelink or hexproof? Okay, you're going to be like this? I understand. This is how you want to play the game? Okay, okay, buddy. K-R-A-F-T. Got him. Guys, we only got about $280 left to hit that March rent. I can tell my landlord that I'll have it. I'll have it by the end of the week. <laughs> okay, this is all good. So next time we can play Temple into Palladium Mirror and then play High Cliff Felidar after that. Also, D-Spark gets rid of Hyromancer's Cage. As far as I can remember, it's target permanent with converted mana cost four or more, right? Wow. I'm just like, really? It's just surprising how rude they are. You can't handle it. You think you know somebody, and then they just do all this jazz. Okay, you got a 1-1. One, one. Ooh! Well, let's scry. Oh, man, this has been... Oh yeah, definitely keep that on top. And then we're blazing it. We're 420 cloud blazing it, boy. Oh yeah, this is looking juicy. Next turn we get to go land into High Cliff Felidar. We get to moment keep up momentary blink soon. Which is great on every creature we have. Oh boy. This deck is great. And I'm, what I mean by that, the um the blink deck. The blink deck is seems has felt very good. <clears throat> Papa It's your little boy, Papa What does this do? Just makes a copy Yeah, sure You get two more 1-1s one And I hope you don't play And raise four runners, I guess I guess they're not going to get haste So we what seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and we can block one of the three threes and go to like nine, and then we can double blink cloud blazer gain four. Overwhelming stampede would also just give plus one plus one here. So it's nice knowing you have to play man play around mana tithe. I agree. Oh, but they do have four spike. Keep in mind. So what just happened? Oh, Orin Reef, sure. I look very red right now. I was trying to give myself a little, a little, bit, a little bit of color with this color correction, but it turned out just making me a piece of fruit. Yeah, whatever, that's fine. They didn't... Oh, boy. We are just... 
That's what it feels like to live the dream. Uh, play it as a white land. One, two, one, two, three, four. So if we attack for five, they just go one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, sure, that's fine. We can even miss, blink Mist Raven to kill one of their things. Oh, what is this? <sighs> All right, yeah, it's fine. That's not. It's not great, Bob. Shut up and take my money. Oh my God, Neon Tokyo Rain with your poor tummy. <laughs> I'm so sorry, buddy. I appreciate you. Um, let's blink this guy. That's pretty good. Is this plus one, plus one? Yeah, that's not as good as... For some reason, I was like, maybe it's plus two, plus two. Unless they play something huge, I cannot think of a reason why we wouldn't momentarily blink our cloud. Okay, well, I guess we don't get a choice. We would have drawn land into Gale Powder Mage. Okay. Okie okay, dokie. Okay. I almost feel like Crux of Fate. Oh, Ethereal Absolution against them? <sighs> yeah, let's do that. Let's take out Athreos. K-R-A-F-T. Y'all know about K-R-A-F-T? Thank you. Oh, Mark, welcome back, my dude. Always good to see you, buddy. What up, Shua Garner? Even though nine minutes ago you were like, I'm back, and I was like, all right. And then you didn't say anything, and I was like, I guess he's gone. There you were. Yeah, this seems good. Nowhere near as, uh, I don't know, maybe our last hand wasn't explosive at all. Like, it's just good. Traverse for a forest. You got it. Oh, that's a great... I, You know, I don't really love drawing a fifth land here, but if I'm going to, let's draw it on turn one where we can play the tap land. Okay, well, I get it. I understand. Hmm. Okay, I like that a lot. That's really good. I'm in. How do you do, fellow magic humans? Oh yeah, give me that. Give me that free 1-1, one, one, boy. I mean, they didn't have a play last turn, right? They didn't have a play with five mana. So... One, two, three, and then we can keep up D Spark. Oh, they're gonna, they got an instant speed thing. They changed their mind. Wait, what? Oh, they're using that to convoke. Sure, got it. I accept. I had sub, but it wasn't notifying, so I refreshed, and then it worked. Man. Because if you don't, if you sub but don't notify, did you actually even sub? I don't think so. Uh, yeah, let's kill that thing immediately. <laughs> uh, get out of my dreams. And into the graveyard. But they don't go to the graveyard. They actually get exiled, so, <laughs> you know. I'm actually going to not attack. I don't, there's like, they could double block and it's not worth trading two tokens for an exclusion mage when a lot of our deck is based on blinking. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, well. There's a lot of lands, but that's okay. 
if we start to draw two cards a turn, which it looks like we're on the course to do, then, uh, you know, what are you going to do? Draw two cards a turn, you see. Get out of my dreams. Get into my car. Michael Loth. Okay. Oh no, you're not gonna like this. Oh dear. Don't do it, man. Are they devouring themselves? Okay, I thought they were gonna sack their own Michael Loth. They could have God's willing. Actually this this doesn't this doesn't target, so that doesn't even matter. Wow, this is gonna be this is going to be the scoop. I'm sorry. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Jesus. I have a family. Yep, there it is. <laughs> Yawn? It costs seven mana, dude. You played two cards on turn by turn seven. What? <laughs> So, okay. <laughs> it's like, fucking shut up. Wow, how dumb are you? I played one five drop and one seven drop. By turn seven. Like, you just went all in on a fucking seven drop creature or six drop, whatever that stupid thing is. I don't even know how much Michael Love costs. It costs five? <sighs> five, sure. I mean, like, Like, you saw it in game one. Why would you go in... Like, why would you sack all of your creatures to make one big creature when you saw like, this card in game one? Ugh. God. But my grandpa gave me that card. Arctic Avenger, what up, buddy? Good seeing you, my dude. Get out of my dreams. Hey Frank, what's the opposite of dusk? Dawn. That doesn't seem like a joke though. That's just a fact, right? I'm on spring break, break from teaching so I can participate in life again. Is Christopher just giving out earth facts? Hey Frank, what's the get what's the grass thing in front of your your house? Lawn. <laughs> Oh, I see. It's a build. It's a slow build. I can appreciate it. I mean, to be quite fair, like any card, any like removal spell in my deck basically takes care of Michael Loth, right? Like blinking exclusion mage gets rid of it. D spark gets rid of it. The Felidar gets rid of it. Angel of Despair gets rid of it. Like, <laughs> every card in my deck. So, like, you're yawning because I had a removal spell? I don't really understand. Like, all right. What's the, what's the little but what's the little buddies in the front of the chessboard? <laughs> hey, wait, me gonna move your little buddy? Move your little, your little pawn? Let's do it. Are you guys going to get into my car or what? I'll keep this. Sure. We can cast any four drop we draw except for skin render. <clears throat> Beautiful. I want to start with a temple of Orzov. What's a fancy goose, swan? What's a little sea bug, uh, prawn? Hmm. 
I feel like it's the mirror match. Oh, I like a doomed artisan here. Let's see if they have an answer for it. One sculpture. Okay. You got it. Guess I'll take three. Make another sculpture for your buddy boy. Yeah, okay. Let's see where they go, though. I do care where they go. <clears throat> Two cards on top. Oh, dang. Talk about... If we hit another land, we can Denrova Horror. Um, I want to keep the Watcher tap down because it's one of the few creatures I don't want to, like, trade with. So, um... If we don't draw land, we can play Venser. If we draw land, land, we can go to Nerova to Angel. That's pretty good. They're definitely playing uh, a similar deck. A little icy. Hmm. White, white. We're missing a color here. I kind of like I kind of like just keeping up momentary blink for this so then they like attack into it and then we get to do some shenanigans. Fencer goes up to 5. We have two blockers. They have two cards in hand. <clears throat> if we draw a white, like, I just want to be able to use it on different things. Whereas, like, any land we get to cast this, I'm just going to keep Momentary Blink up. I f that feels better. We're also getting lots of sculptures here. This guy might get out of control, because you don't want to waste the removal spell on the stupid 1-1. One -one, but you also don't want to let him go crazy either, so. I think someone figured out that this archetype is pretty decent. Let's block the Sky Scanner because that actually draws them a card every turn. Whereas I don't care about them scrying two every turn. That's fine. Sure, draw four. Black or white would be great. <laughs> well, that is a thing. Yeah, I think we're just going to play Venser now because we have to. Mm, tap the flyer down, I guess. It doesn't matter. We have four four fours right now. I guess you could even say that their deck is a sky scanner deck. Not yet, I can't. Man, if this is like a talisman, it would just be so much better right now, unfortunately. But That's fine. I mean, it draws you one card, basically. I actually think Cavalier of Gales is kind of meh. It's a 5-5 five, five flyer for 5, which is great, but... <clears throat> you know, it's just... I mean, I guess blinking it is good, so... So I guess you could say it's fine here, but... I would really love white black lands <laughs> it 
if I can get rid of this guy and make things unblockable this turn, I feel like I'm in really good shape. Okay, well, <laughs> that's not what we're looking for. But, you know. You're going to respond to the Doom Artisan trigger. Sure. Fascinating. Let's tap down, you big fat idiot. I mean, having momentary blink in the graveyard is pretty good here. But we could also, like, unmake the Doomed Artisan and attack for, like, a billion unblockable next turn. It's, like, 25 damage. I guess plus the Icefall region is 29. Well, I wonder if that's going to win us the game. <sighs> sure, it's unfortunate. Oh, they're bouncing the Regent. I'm doing this because I want to keep this much power on the board. Because they're going to be able to blink this a second time, which means they get rid of a token and then we only have 14 power. Or uh, 16, rather. But if we keep this on the board... Sure, that's, that's good. All right. Well... Sure, take five. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, they're tapped out. They actually have to blink a sculpture. 12, 16. So close. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's see what we get here. Planes, one, two, three, four, five. So black, black, white, white, one, two, three, four, five. So yeah, we're keeping that on top because Angel of Despair plus Fencer is pretty good. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six. Or... Hmm. Hmm. Okay. I mean, this again seems pretty good. I feel like we were a little behind there, but now like plus Angel of Despair next turn, we just kill the closet, kill something else. Like, yeah, that's pretty good. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven off the top, Angel, Blink Angel. I guess we do only have one blocker though, so they could actually kill Vencer here. I guess we actually have no blockers here, so they kill Vencer here. You ever sleep over at someone's house when you're a kid and wake up in the morning and not know where you are? Huh. I don't think so. Angel of Despair with only one card on board is worse, but being able to kill the Conjurer Closet is good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Because they don't have lethal on board. Hmm. 
So you're gonna 34, five, six. I think this is correct. So now they have two cards in hand. They have nine power on board. So if they bounce the angel. One card in hand. Don't be something good. It's going to be Mist Raven. Are Kaomancer is actually okay here. They don't get anything relevant. Boon and Memory Lapse. That seems fine. Oh my god, I think they're just dead. Uh, let's kill the... No, we'll kill the mage here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're just dead. We're just going to unmake our own doomed artisan and kill them with sculptures. Like, we know the two cards in their hand, so... This is kind of a greedy attack. Doomed Artisan, showing how you do it. Take 25. Solid. Like, I expect to be somewhere that I was at in my dream, but couldn't that also happen at home? Do we have anything that deals with artifacts? Not really. I do kind of like Ethereal Absolution here, though, because it does take care of a lot of their, their things. They had a lot of 1-1s, one or X-1s, rather. <sighs> Ulcerate's also not too bad, I guess. I think this is probably fine. Man, Doomed Artisan did some work there. That was pretty sweet. Big old Doomy. Yeah, this hand's not super great, but it's got two of our colors and two cards we can play, so. And now we have all three colors, I guess. Oh, you said sometimes it happens to me now at my, at, my, at my own apartment. So never mind. That actually, I guess it can occur where you live. So. A lot of times when I was a kid. Oh, Jesus, that's really good. Fuck. A lot of times when I was a kid and I would spend the night at a friend's house, in the, in the, in the morning I would just want to go home immediately. And I'd be like, okay, this is how I know I'm an introvert with a, a social battery that needs recharging. Yeah, this is very good. Jesus. Not sure how we beat this, to be quite honest with you. I guess that'll kill it eventually. The next time we get to play two things, I guess. Yeah, there's definitely a feeling where I'm like, all right, I just need my, I, I need my space, like my own, my own environment with like, uh, I, like, I just don't have the social currency to like, to, to chat with people, you know, it just looks like a certain point you're like, okay, I'm, I'm good.
Well, next turn we can kill this guy. I guess that's something. Oh boy. Every game, huh? Man, Soul Herder plus plus Conjurer's Closet on the Watcher is uh, it's, it's quite a clock there. Like, interesting is having... I guess it doesn't matter. I don't know. Oh, that's interesting. One, two, three... Okay, they can't blink anything yet. I wish we had a third white. That would be great. Like, I kind of have to kill this. Third creature. Eh, I'm just going to kill this thing. <laughs> Get out of here. Like, it's weird because we feel ahead on board right now, but they kind of have infinite selection with Watcher of Tomorrow. Man, Icefall Region's second ability never really being relevant. Also, Meteor Golem is pretty good. Uh, snap block. Non-land permanent. Jesus Christ. This is, this is brutal. Yeah. Yeah, we're just going to the next game. We can't beat that. That's fucking ridiculous. <sighs> now I kind of want Ulcerate just to kill some of their their ridiculous jabronis. I feel like being on the play is at least decent. Well, less decent. When you have seven drop, one land. Still seven drop, but I, I will keep this at least. Keep ship done. Is ulcerate giving creatures ulcers? Probably, yeah. Owner of the lonely heart. If they don't play anything that we care about, like Doom Dart is in next turn is pff, Doom Dart is an early is real good. No force spike, I guess. Oh, it just resolved immediately. You got it. See, like both of these creatures die to Ethereal Absolution. <laughs> I want to waste the blue off the Vivid Meadow. Probably. Don't want to, I guess we're just bouncing the 1-1. One, one. It's not exciting, but it gets a body on the board. And we also have momentary blink in the future, so... I'd rather not have them draw a second card. Even if it does cost them 3 mana.
Fascinating. Well, that is a thing. I mean, Absolution next turn is pretty... Really? Mm, sure. Interesting. You got it. <laughs> That's actually pretty good. Um, three, four, sure. Sculpture, sculpture everywhere. Sculpture, sculpture, beautiful sculptures every day. This guy's just going to get in there for 20 turns. Okay, it's your boy. I feel like we haven't been drawing very very well when it comes to lands. We have like nine blue sources. <laughs> Eight blue sources. Some number of blue sources. Keep in mind we just drew another black source. I mean, they get to bounce a sculpture, but I don't... I guess it bounce two sculptures, actually. Is that, is that something I care about? We do get to sneak this in in case they have, like, memory lapse in hand. So we lose two, we end up with three. Or they could just bounce the artisan. Go bounce artisan, we don't get another sculpture. Bounce a sculpture, we have three... Eh. I think we're just going to play this. See, if we attack, they go block, bounce, bounce, and that seems worse. Yeah, sure. I mean, we can recoup sculptures, but I think not. I think just not using six mana is pretty bad this turn, so. Yep, you got it. Especially when in the future we can start uh, exiling their creatures to make two twos just to block this guy. Also, it's different between a five. <laughs> Solid. Solid. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a good one. I like your hanged executioner. So it's, it's all worth it in the end. Yep, got it. Got a 1-1 one, one there. You got it. Oh, that's actually... That's actually all right. Ding, 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 ding. Ding, 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 ding. Ding, ding, ding. Yeah, I'm just going to take four here. Uh, sure. Now we can make a free guy, which is pretty nice. You got it. This is actually great because we can make a free guy and we can Thopter Spy Network this turn.
So this guy dies immediately again? Sure. <laughs> I mean, this is fine. You're just drawing cards. But, I mean, like, when it comes to, like, putting threats on the board, the Earl Absolution's doing some work. I guess keeping threats off the board. Let's get Hanged Executioner out of that. That's probably the creature I'm most afraid of. Oh, fine. No, well, nope. Still, still not a blue land. Okie dokie. Um, <laughs> she's still gonna play one, two, three, four. Spy network. Play. This is a white source. Still feel like we're pretty far ahead here. Like, eventually, when we just get rid of this guy, like, <laughs> we just have an army. Could have actually taken one more hit. Well, that was pretty good. It's actually insanely good. <sighs> Frustratingly good. Hmm. That's fine. Oh, that's exhausting. Yep, just bounce the meteor golem. Yep, this is really good. Wow, I felt like we were in really good shape. I guess meteor golem is a sick out. Kilothopter Spy Network, presumably. Yep. Oh, what up, Jay Broad? Yeah, I'll just block here. What can we draw here? Angel of nothing, really. Fuck this. This is fucking stupid. Yep, cool. Congratulations. I've literally drawn mono lands. Yep, that was fun. Good times. Good times. One meteor golem and... And a crystal shard, I guess, is all you really need. All right, let's see if we can 2-1 here. I definitely think this was better than a 2-1, but I think our opponent had a very similar deck and they just drew their parts better than we did. What can you do? Um, Black, black, blue. Let's say blue. We don't have a second blue source. Talisman into Crystalline Golem is pretty decent. Oh, Talisman. Talisman number dose. We can go Talisman into Crystal. Oh, that's actually good. I'm trying to get my son back to bed. Also, how do you like that? I think this is this has been a fun cube. I've actually enjoyed it quite a bit. Um, land. One, two. Tally. And Crystalline Giant. What are we getting? Yeah! Fucking hex proof. Roll them bones. Uh, 
Oh, Athreos is actually just fine here, I guess. Um, white, black, blue. White, white. Eh, I'll just play this for now. I don't really want to make a choice on the other one. Lifelink? Vigilance? Living that dream. Can you describe the best deck you've drafted so far? It was just one of the blink decks. It was very similar to this, I think, I would, I would actually say. I think the blink deck in this, the like the blue-black, or the uh, the blue-white blink deck is very good. You're going to counter my Athreos? You can just... Sure. <sighs> Whatever, man. Six. Uh, now I'll play it as a white source. One, two, three, four, five. Icy fall. Let's see what we get. Yeah, lifelink. Four, four? Sure. I mean, God. <laughs> Jeez. What a time to be alive. Okay, <laughs> dude, if fucking Crystalline Golem gets hexproof within like the first or second iteration and you can't deal with it, like, okie dokie. I kind of, I still think Ethereal Absolution might be better than Atheros. I mean, we didn't see anything, but I mean, we saw Dreadhorde Invasion, which is, you know, makes one ones, we just kill them. I think we need to get rid of qualified immunity. I got into it with some older persons at a meeting about it today. Um, I don't even know why it exists. <laughs> I don't have advice per se. I can give you my opinion, which is that, I mean, I feel like the only thing qualified immunity is benefiting is guilty people, guilty cops. They mulligan? Yeah, level six. Next turn we can go Golem and Temple. That seems good. Or we can just No, we can't. That's the all that's all we can do. And then we can go Cloud Blazer. Oh, I like when they tap out for for essentially nothing. What do I have a ten percent chance of uh flying? I like it. Um, one, two, I, I don't think we need this. We actually have Cloud Blazer next turn or Skin Render. Like, we have tons of things to do right now, so. Oh, they're going to kill us immediately. Yeah. Yep. It's just too good, like, the threat of Hexproof on it is just, like, Yeah, I, I yeah. You said uh, it exists because of shitty ruling by the Supreme Court when some black clergy were at a food place in the '60s and the cops made them like. Yeah, it makes total sense. Like, it's from an antiquated fucking time. Yep. Fuck, dude. It's just annoying. I'm just going to unmake that. You know why? Because you deserve it. That's why. And then the next thing you play, I'm an angel of despair. And then we're just going to have, have all your things.
one. Uh, God. One, two, three, four. So we can't play around any sort of X spell anyway. We also can't replay skin render if they counter it with like memory lapse. So one, two, three, four. If they bounce this, it's actually real good because then we just get to, they, we have to kill our own skin render. Skin render says when it enters the battlefield, put three negative one, negative one counters on target creature. So if there are no other creatures when it resolves, it commits suicide. Oh, a red source. Interesting. Kind of like that, actually. One, two, three, four. I mean, I this this runs of a kind of deck that would have a sweeper in it. So we've seen two counter spells. Stinky boy. Sir stinks a lot. It says Vigilance, right? Uh, okay. I mean, I really don't want to throw either of these on the board, to be quite honest. We have a lot of power here. <laughs> Plus, this gets double strike, so it's lethal. I'm a little stinkery now. It's my little stink stink. You know what I got. Two oh. Two one rather. Not too bad. This deck seems sweet. I think we only lost the second round because like they just managed to outdraw us there. Like I think our decks were pretty comparable, but Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Follow on Twitch. Follow on YouTube. Do all the things. Appreciate the support, guys. Thank you so much. I'll see you next time.